Hello guys, today let's talk about Laravel Scheduler and some less known tricks from that and I will actually read the docs for you. Let me explain. I saw a tweet recently by Anicat about schedule class and when function. Let's see if I can zoom that in a bit more. So personally, I didn't know that you can schedule command, for example, hourly and add a when condition as a function. Cool, right? And then I thought maybe there are other things that I didn't know about scheduler, about some parameters and additional functions. And I took a look at the docs of task scheduling and found quite a few gems for myself. So I decided to shoot a separate video for you guys as well. Maybe you will find out something new as well as I did myself. So let's quickly go through those gems I found. First, for those of you who don't know, the underneath mechanism of scheduler is cron job that you set up on your server, which runs every minute. It executes the command PHP artisan schedule run, which checks everything that is in your schedule and which commands or which functions or which jobs need to be executed in that minute. So this is a typical example. For example, schedule something daily. It's now in Laravel 11 in the file routes console PHP. In older versions, it used to be in app console kernel PHP file. So this is kind of the basics. Majority of you probably know that. Now let's go through those gems that I've mentioned in the beginning of this video. First, did you know that you can schedule not only jobs or eloquent operations, but also shell commands? Exec with operating system. Of course, you need to be extremely careful with that, but there is a possibility. Next, did you know that you can define the days when to execute some command with schedule constants? So for example, hourly, but only on Sunday and Wednesday. And there are numbers, of course, but the constants make it much more readable. Next feature is the same thing as Anikat showed in his tweet, but also it has the opposite. So you can schedule the command with one function, but the opposite of that is skip function. So inside you return true or false when to execute that command on which condition. Next thing I didn't know is maintenance mode. So by default, those schedulers will not execute if the app is in maintenance mode, which is by PHP artisan down in case of some deployment or stuff like that. But maybe you do want that to happen. So for example, sending the email may still happening even if the application is in maintenance mode. This is a cool method to enable that. Next thing I did know about, but I still want to mention that in this video, in the latest Laravel version, you can have sub minute schedule tasks. So even though the underlying cron job runs every minute in schedule, you can define it every second or every 10 seconds or something like that. And final thing, I didn't know that you can run the scheduler locally and you don't need to set up any cron job locally for that. You can just similarly to queue work, you can execute PHP artisan schedule work and it would run in the background as a cron job. So yeah, these are the quick gems about Laravel scheduler that I found in the docs. Another reason to actually, well, read the docs in full because they contain a lot of gems and less known features. Which ones were new to you? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.